Welcome back to Talos 2. We've had our fun, we've played the game, now it's time to read a whole bunch. Social media and logs, I guess. Also, I've just been looking at these butterflies. My god, this this TAA is so strange. Like, look in the... yeah, that's a beautiful butterfly, but then if we see them like in the background... Oh my god, it's really in my face now. There! It's like a streaky, like, sprite. It looks like a Zelda fairy or something. Because, like, it doesn't know what to do with the, like, temporal stuff. It's... oh boy, it's weird. There's another, like, orange and blue one, yeah. Just flying away like fairies. Uh-huh. And then you get, like, close to them and it's it's just a butterfly. Regular old butterfly, not supposed to have, like, a glowing streak. So, let's check social media first. The Progenitor Portrait Series. Oh my god, touch grass. Read 10 social media entries. That's like the opposite. Is it like imperative, you know? Go touch grass now, you've been too much on social media. Oh. Rodam. Yeah, it's just a portrait of uh, Alexander Drennan, huh? Hi everyone, this is the latest in my portrait series. I've always had a deep respect for the progenitor, Alexander Drennan. She didn't just create the founder and save humanity, she also tried to instill us with a sense of beauty and wonder. It was good to be human, Alexander Drennan. As usual, please keep in mind that we should focus on engagement with the work. Don't ask yourself whether it's good or bad, but how it makes you feel. Are you just saying you hate it? That's like something you would say if you don't like it. Beautiful work, Rodam. Gives me a bittersweet, wistful feeling. She must have been a great person. To me, it really captures her bravery in the face of what the cosmos had thrown at her. It's well done, but I'm not sure it's appropriate for us to depict the progenitor in this way. What do you mean? It's important to remember she was a real person, yeah? Your painting powerfully evokes her belief in a bright future. This highlights her bravery in the face of death. We shouldn't forget other people contributed to. That is true. It's not all Alexander Drennan. I don't know. It's definitely like one of these two. Yeah, I think this might be like too aggrandizing almost. Like, yeah, she did do good things, but there wasn't a one person deal. And we're, like, kind of forgetting about the other people, the other, like, pillars holding up Alexander Drennan, in that sense. Yeah, I guess just, like, it's important to remember she was a real person. Sure. You're right, she was extraordinary, of course, but she was a human being, like any of us! I don't think you can say the progenitor was like any of us. That's like saying the founder was like any of us. N no, it's not. The founder was like us. But the progenitor was not like us. It's not, I don't know, either just it's not disrespectful to acknowledge their humanity, or just they were, that's the point. Yeah, I kind of feel like this, Thecla is missing the point. The point is that she was just a human. She was a, an amazing human, but like, any of us, if we're counting ourselves as humans, have the ability to be Alexander Drennan, to do great things in that sense. Yeah, that's the point. You're new to this world, so I understand your ignorance, but it would be best if you were a little more respectful. The founder created a gold. She created you. Yeah, you're, you could also learn something about respect. Classic, classic online arguments getting started. Keep it civil. What 1K was trying to explain, Thecla, was that the progenitor and the founder weren't some different class of being. Yeah, thank you, Rodan. They were made of the same stuff as we are. That doesn't take away from what they accomplished or how incredible they were, it just means that humans can be truly amazing. Yeah, Rodam fucking gets it. Here lived a race of giants, Alexander Drennan. Yep, there's always people that just warp your words into something bad. I'm, I'm like actually getting like fucking PTSD or like just anxiety from what this is gonna end up being because it's, it's so fucking exhausting. Like just even like YouTube comments can be such a headache to deal with, where like, yeah, there's there's a lot of people that like, don't, obviously don't think they're wrong, and it's just like, it takes so much effort to try and make them see how they're like, seeing things in the wrong way, that it's just not worth it. But of course, if you don't do that, then that means they won. So Thecla won. Yeah, it, it is like, a genuinely, unbelievably frustrating aspect of like, the internet as a whole this, like, constant arrogance and, like, conceit 
And yeah, just lack of respect. Like, people like Thecla will say, you should be more respectful while being completely disrespectful to other people and, like, putting themselves on a pedestal and whatever. So let's not rant any more about that. Let's read some logs instead. Yeah, just logs. The New Theology 1 by George Bernard Shaw. The object of the whole evolutionary process is to realize God. That is to say, instead of the old notion that creation began with a god, a personal being who, being perfect, created something lower than himself, the aim of the new... Okay, this is a weird sentence, I'm probably reading this wrong. The aim of the new theology is to turn that process the other way, and to conceive of the force also... This is one sentence, fuck you! Behind the universe as working up through imperfection and, mis and mistake to a perfect... Working up through imperfection and mistake to a perfect organized being having the power of fulfilling its highest purpose. You can absolutely go fuck yourself with that sentence. In a sense, there is no God as yet achieved, but there is that force at work making God struggling through. Oh my God, is this one too? No, fuck you. This is one sentence. My God, this is just poorly written. Struggling through us to become an actual organized existence Enjoying what to many of us is the greatest conceivable ecstasy, the ecstasy of a brain, an intelligence, actually conscious of the whole. This feels like I'm reading fucking... Uh, who was that again? I tried to read... I had to go look. I tried to read Proust, like a swan's way, and holy hell that is so unapproachable. It, it's just like a single sentence might go on with like 40 commas for over an entire page, just like, it just goes on and on and on and calls back to previous points of that sentence and goes on and I'm sure to some people that is like amazing and beautiful and oh, what mastery of the language. To me, it just feels like word soup and nonsense. I am probably not smart enough for Proust and nor am I smart enough for this George Bernard Shaw guy. Where was I? actually conscious of the whole and with executive force capable of guiding it to a perfectly benevolent and harmonious end. That is what we're working to. It sure is. Sure is. You're so right. Girlfriend. Neum from Lives of the First Companions by Randolph. Some, uh, hex after all. After these events, Neum decided to consult the writings of the ancients, but while philosophy and religion interested... I should move this so I can put this right here interested her, it was art in all its forms that came as a revelation. To her delight, she discovered that meaning was not something constructed purely out of logic or will, but that it could also be found in stories, that even when the characters and events of a story were not factual, they had a validity and weight, as if they somehow were real after all. She was astonished that such a profound experience was freely available to all humans, but concerned that too few took advantage of it. So she set out to enrich the inner lives of her fellow citizens by, by promoting the arts, starting with the legacy of Gehenna. Yeah, that makes sense. Neum sounds nice. I would love to meet her one day. She must know more about New Jerusalem art history than anyone. When we do, remind me to explain how to pronounce her name. Yeah, I, I don't know. The default settings in the language libraries are wrong. It's not Neum. Niyama. Niam. Nyom. At least it's easier to pronounce than Lifthraser. Leviathan. From the introduction to Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes. Nature, the art whereby God has made and governs the world, is by the art of man. As, oh God, is this doing the same thing? No, I'm seeing a period. A period of salvation. As in many other things. Oh God, but I still don't understand it. Nature, the art whereby God has made and governs the world, is... By the art of man, as in many other things, so in this also imitated, that it can make an artificial animal. I, I don't know what that's saying. I kinda hate all these logs now. If you just like, jumble your sentences up, and split them apart with 16 commas, it just makes you sound smart and clever and profound, and you can become a philosopher too. It's as easy as that. Just. Practice saying absolutely nothing with as many words as possible, and you're a bona fide philosopher. For seeing life is but a motion of the limbs, the beginning whereof is... The beginning whereof is in some principal part within. It also sure doesn't help 
to read this out loud because like most of these sentences you don't know how the sentence is constructed until you've read the entire sentence and you're like oh that was referring to this and this is part of like this part of the sentence it's just like nonsense trying to read it out loud in one go without looking ahead is in some principal part within this is oh fuck this man why may we not say that all automata, engines that move themselves by springs and wheels as does a watch, have an artificial life? For what is the heart but a spring, and the nerves but so many strings, and the joints but so many wheels, and shut the fuck up, giving motion to the whole body, such as was intended by the artificer? Good lord. Can you just say, like, this is nonsense? Art goes yet further, imitating that rational and most excellent work of nature, man. For by- like, I don't remember the logs in Talos 1 being this obnoxious to read. This is like, impressively annoying to try and understand what they're even saying in basic sentences. Art goes yet further, imitating that rational and most excellent work of nature, man. For by art is created that great leviathan called a commonwealth, or state, in Latin, civitas, civitas, I don't know, which is but an artificial man, though of greater stature and strength than the natural, for whose protection of defense it was intended, and in which the sovereignty is an artificial soul, as giving life and motion to the whole. Lastly, the pacts and covenants by which the parts of this body politic were at first made set together this is not sentences! This is not English! Fuck you! And United resembled that fiat, or the let us make man, pronounced by God in creation. I hate all these people! It's obvious that Hobbes has read Stratton, and is extrapolating the Talos principle to the level of the state. But unlike Stratton, all he wishes for at the end of the day is a powerful ruler to control this machine. To tell him what to do. Yeah, that's obvious. Obviously I got that from what he was saying. Fuck me, man, that was so miserable. God, I hope this is an exception and not, like, how most of these these logs are going to end up being. Because that is just horrible to try and read stuff like that. I might just have to not read it out loud and just read it to myself if they're going to be that fucking obtuse and obnoxious. Jesus Christ, man. Alright, for now, I guess we're just going to go to the tower and, well... Are we gonna say hello to the Sphinx again, or is it gonna be something different? I guess we'll have to find out. And yeah, then we have like lost puzzles, and I'm sure I've missed stuff with the exploration, but I don't think I'm gonna care too much about that for the like first pass through. So that means we could technically. Yeah, there's no like. No, uh. Like, what's it called? Emancipation Grill thing. What are those called? Seriously, do they have a name? Like, these these fields? I don't know, but those ones, like, into the tower. So we could, if I need to, I could take a driller or jammer in here, or, like, a fan. I wonder if, uh, if having a fan, placing it on the ground, does that mean you can stand on it and get, like, slightly more height? Not sure. I mean, this, this seems fine, just putting that there. That looks fine too, I guess. And then... Uh, wait, no, this one. Isn't that fine? Yeah, we'll just do that. And then this, sure. I'm not even sure, like, can, can you do this wrong? I'm not sure you can do it wrong. Maybe later on you can. So yeah, is it Sphinx again, or are we gonna meet a different person? Like, are we gonna meet Pandora this time? Something like that? We gotta check up here every time. Just in case. Like, every time I can get up here, but it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Yeah, don't see anything. I mean, this is just kind of like a 
standard room, I suppose, that we're gonna see a lot of. Hello. Oh, yeah, it is Pandora. Halt, creature of clay. You have strayed from your garden and entered a domain that is beyond your ken. Turn back now, before you harm yourself and others. Make me. Maybe I, like, I know who she is. She is obviously like the Sphinx, but she would probably say, like, no, don't compare me to that beast. I'm just gonna say, we were invited here by uh, Prometheus, but I mean... Pandora was the one that stopped Prometheus from inviting us here, I suppose. But I'm gonna say that. Prometheus had no authority to summon you. He is rash and foolish and given to trickery. But his schemes lead only to ruin. Therefore heed my warning. And fire. The flame is not for you. We will consider your words. We need to know what is going on here for the safety of New Jerusalem. We're not going to just leave because you had a bad experience with a magic box. <laughs> okay, are we really going to be that sassy? We need to know more about these technologies for the future of New Jerusalem. Yeah, I mean, that, that kind of sounds the most right here. Just like, we have to, even if it is dangerous, we need to continue to find out what is happening and learn more about the world and ourselves and technology and all of that. Yeah, let's say that. You seek the flame of enlightenment, but remember that fire can also burn. I'll be very careful, Mom. Yeah, that was very simple. Blue! Where's the green? It's blue! I was right. Wooded plateau. How many of those bloody things are there? Probably three. I think that was Pandora, which matches the oh, you mean those, yeah. Prometheus. They seem to be locked in some kind of conflict. Might be wise to avoid getting caught in the crossfire until we understand what these entities actually are. So are you saying to stay on all of their good sides? Yeah, I wonder if they would hide something in one of these towers when they're like so similar, all of them. Some weird lighting. Yep. Ray tracing for you. Future of lighting engines. So there we go. I'm not so sure we have time for, uh... The lost puzzles today. Maybe we can, like, go and talk to people instead? But that's the question. Can I even find them? What was this hand symbol again? Oh, that's just like a log, but yeah, it's like, since it's not grayed out, it almost seems like there's more here, but I guess not. Or terminal, I should say. What do you mean? Okay, they they just don't get grayed out. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Oh, hello, Alcatraz. What's up? God, what is wrong with you, Alcatraz? What can I do for you, One K? <laughs> what is happening with these people? Alcatraz always freezes. Byron always like spazzes out and like cuts between animations. I don't know if Jakut did something weird. Melville and Jakut seem fine most mostly. I mean. I think Jakut got, like, locked up in an animation at some point. What do you make of Pandora? It's pretty clear to me that she doesn't want us to proceed with what we're doing. I find that deeply concerning. That said, there are clearly other forces at play here as well, so I'm trying my best to remain open to a more positive interpretation. Yeah, I mean, just because one... exactly. It could be a test, I'm, I'm thinking. Like, maybe she's supposed to sort of disincentivize us, like uh, Elohim in the simulation, where he was like, don't go to the tower, don't climb it, don't do it, and then you climb it. He's like, good job, you did it, you saw through the, like, the test. It could be. 
or we've just stumbled into something that's none of our business. And we won't know until we continue. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah. That's all. Alright, so uh, I guess we just like run around the path a little bit and hope to run into some more people. Yeah, we have the golden gates and two lost puzzles and that's it. And I'm sure there's like more stuff like I haven't really looked into all these like in between areas that much. Well, I don't think this is anything specifically, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff like in between the wooded areas that I haven't really fully explored. It doesn't look like we can really climb up here. No. Yep, yeah, I should probably just leave it off. I'm just gonna, I guess, see if we can see, like, one more person. Surely they would mostly just walk around the paths, not, like... Out and about. Kind of feel like going here is. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go, Byron. The most likely way to find them. Okay. It's clear that there's some kind of antagonistic force in this place, something that doesn't want us to discover the purpose of the mega structure. Perhaps that's part of the testing. Yeah. Or perhaps it's what's responsible for this state of decay. What is the symbolic value of these entities we're encountering? What? Why? What is that question? That's why would I question. have that question? I, I don't know Prometheus if that's a good question. Is often taken to represent freedom and progress, the ideals of the radical enlightenment. Pandora, on the other hand, usually represents the dangers of those very ideals. So they're counterparts in a way. And the Sphinx. The Sphinx is a mystery. A riddle, you Does might that say? Does mean that these entities correspond to these concepts? Perhaps. They certainly seem to act like it. But Athena yeah, he's isn't glitching out again. of Athens. And I'm not Robert Byron. Although those are the origins of our names. Where does myth end and history begin? We'll have to find out. Yeah. Can we spot... A stray Jakut or Melville? I don't know. Probably shouldn't bother unless I like cut to them. But I don't know how long it's gonna take to find them. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I wonder if we could do something with that. That would be really fun. Oh, here's Melville, and Melville doesn't want to talk. Okay, now that I've done that, I have to find Jakut as well. So I guess, like, give me a sec, I'm just gonna run around until we find Jakuts. Sure would be nice if these people were marked on the compass. For how much information the compass is giving you, why can't it just, like, point you to them as well? That would have been extremely handy. Have I ever looked around here? Doesn't really look like there's anything here, but it did lead to it, which is kind of strange. Like, the path led to it. I should not be jumping around and stuff, I don't have time for that. I might have to give up on Jakuts. I usually find him, like, around this area in this level, but... I'm not sure. There's Byron again. Yeah. I don't think we're seeing any Jakuts. No Jakut from what I can see. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it off there. Uh, I guess we have to, like, go in somewhere so I save here. Actually, it doesn't really matter where I save, because, like... I'm just going to go to the, the lost puzzles next time.
Maybe we'll run into Jakut on the way, hopefully. So yeah, next time we're probably leaving East 2 and moving on to what is it going to be? Is it East 3 or are we just going to go to like South or something at this point? I assume East 3 so we can get like three areas for three lasers and then after that, that'll move on to like a new section or something, new world. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.